Sir! Intruders! Impossible! Throw down your weapons, Republic scum! You have no idea what you've done breaking in here! I'm sorry. The guy at the front desk must have made a mistake. You're caught. Don't even try to talk your way out of it. Final warning. Drop your weapons and surrender. Now! Republic war droid M14X. I want to know how to find him. Subdue the intruders, men. Use whatever forces... Zardrix, this is Andrik. We got the last package and we're heading for object... Oh, oh this is too much. Shut up, Andrik. Can't you see we have a situation here? Just tell me where to find M14X and there won't be any trouble. The Empire does not negotiate with scum like you. Have fun dying, Zardrix. At least I'll have time to double our patrols while you and your men are being slaughtered. What? Don't be ridiculous! We'll have this situation dealt with in mere moments! Nah. In mere moments, you'll be dead, and the situation will be headed my way. Nice knowing you. That treacherous, disrespectful... Doesn't sound like Andrik cares about the Empire at all. Why protect him? Andrik may be scum, but his droid's activities are useful to the Empire. I cannot allow you to impede their work. Andrik isn't loyal to you or the Empire. He'll turn on you, just like he turned on the Republic. You're right. Andrik is scum, unworthy of the Imperial resources that protect him. You will find Captain Andrik and M14X in a facility deep within the Shadowtown district, unlocking the droid's full potential. That machine's power core is capable of far more than your scientists thought possible. Soon, M14X will have shields and weapons more powerful than any other droid ever created. What's so special about M14X? His power core is unique, a rare piece from a lost alien civilization. Fully charging it was beyond the abilities of the Republic's pathetic scientists. Now go. You have what you wanted. Leave before I change my mind. Oh, and tell Captain Andrik that it was nice knowing him, too. Farewell. Lieutenant, it's Jonas. I saw you talking to the imps. Nobody shot anybody, so I'm going to take that as a good sign. Did you find out where our missing droid is gone? I can be very persuasive. Our missing friend is in Shadowtown. Fantastic work. I knew we could count on you. Shadowtown is where the imps put people who are too useful to kill, but too dangerous to leave roaming around the galaxy. It's dangerous and heavily secured. Fighting your way in won't be the easiest thing you've ever done. Dangerous ops are always the most fun. It's up to you to finish this. Get in, trash the droid, and get yourself out so we can call it a day. So here you are. A little later than I was expecting, to be honest. Did it really take you that long to wipe out Zardris and his men? Maybe you're not as good as I thought you were. Sorry. There's just so much to see and do on Nar Shadda. Idiot. If you'd have gotten here sooner, you might have actually had a chance. You make me sick. You kill good men, fellow soldiers, all because some scumbag on Coruscant said they were traitors? Your loyalties are all wrong. When you're bleeding out in a trench on some muckball planet, it ain't High Command that pulls you out. It's the guy next to you. We can work this out, Andrik. Just lower your weapon, and we'll talk. I'm not interested in working anything out with scum like you. Treacherous vermin, I have completed the charging process. All systems operable. Sounds like your time's up, Lieutenant. Have any last... Lieutenant, you made it! I knew this imp-loving scum could never escape the sure justice of the Republic for long. At least now you know whose side you've been working for. Yes, without your timely intervention, I might never have realized the truth. Unfortunately, I am still bound by my programming to obey Captain Andrik. The coward has naturally ordered me to kill you. To be used this way against the finest agents of my beloved Republic shames me. Oh, I wish I had never been activated. You never chose to be a traitor. Whether by choice or not, I am acting as a traitor. Worthy only of scorn and summary obliteration. Enough chatter. It's time to finish this. Lieutenant, 
Be advised that your weapon will require several decades of sustained fire in order to penetrate my shields at their current charge. Seeing as Republic Spec Force training is the best in the galaxy, I'm confident you'll find an alternative solution for my destruction. Good luck. I appreciate the tip, Forex. It is my pleasure to at least serve the Republic in this small way. Enough! Open fire! Lieutenant, I'm with the SIS. What is your status? Do you require medical attention? My Medicare has me covered. Thanks. Excellent. We'll get straight to work then. We're here to clean up the mess, make sure there's nothing useful to be recovered. Nice work, by the way. Jonas is waiting for you inside the Republic Embassy, up on the promenade. He asked that you meet him there for a debriefing. Looks like it's mission accomplished. Yeah, I'd definitely say so. Glad I got a chance to meet you, Lieutenant. And again, nice work. Sweepers, fed out! Standard grid formation. Which is why you shouldn't have tried to hide this from us. How can the SIS do its job if you lie to us? You are in no position to demand anything from me, Agent Bowker. I will conduct Special Forces Affairs as I see fit. Treason? Mass defection? You're covering up a threat to the entire Republic. I'm back. The operation was a success. Yes, the operation. That's just what we were discussing. What were you thinking, Lieutenant? I gave you specific orders, and you ignored them. Not everyone can deceive their allies, General. Some people actually have standards. What's done is done. You're absolutely right. This discussion is over. Lieutenant, contact me on your ship's hollow when everything with M1 Forex has been settled. Garza out. Ugh. <sighs> I don't know how you work with that woman. The job got done, and it was no small feat. You've definitely earned your reward. What kind of reward are we talking about here? <clears throat> Republic war droid M14X is to be repaired and direct control transferred to Havoc Squad's current commanding officer immediately. Want to go meet the newest member of your squad, Lieutenant? M14X was destroyed. How is this possible? Apparently, you weren't nearly as thorough as you could have been. You really ought to be ashamed of yourself. Come on, follow me. <laughs> All right, that should wrap things up. Activating now. Diagnostics complete. All systems operational. Unit M14X reporting for duty. You guys are good. There's barely a scratch on him. Glad you approve. You didn't exactly make it easy on us. Lieutenant, I'm very pleased to see you again. Your work in disabling me was incredible. Republic soldiers obviously are the best in the galaxy. It will be an honor to fight alongside such an exceptional servant of the Republic. Together, we shall crush the mindless hedonist of the Sith Empire. I'm glad to have you back on our side, Forex. It is a pleasure to return to the service of freedom and democracy, sir. It's been a pleasure working with you, Lieutenant. Hopefully the next time we meet we'll be under more honest circumstances. We make a good team, Bowker. I don't know. After the swath of destruction we burned across Nar Shadda, it might be better for the galaxy if we don't work together again. See you around, Lieutenant. Ah, Lieutenant. There you are. Do I need to reiterate my disappointment in your decision to intentionally disobey orders and reveal the spec force defections to the SIS? Or has that been made suitably clear? 
Jonas needed to know the full situation, General. Agent Falker knew all he needed to assist you. As for the mission itself, I'm satisfied. You've stopped Tavis' plans for the M14X and returned a valuable asset to Republic Service. Well done. Well, I'm glad you approved, General. Of course, you did almost plunge the entire galaxy into a war just to accomplish this mission. Please try to avoid that sort of thing in the future. I signed up to fight, not to negotiate. The Treaty of Corson still stands, at least nominally. We can't be seen initiating public hostilities. Now, I've just received some intelligence that I want Havoc to act on immediately. It's Tavis. He and a team of commandos just raided a Republic Research Center on Kalarin and stole a prototype cloaking device. But the prototype contains a tracking beacon. We now know the exact location of Tavis' ship. This is it, Lieutenant. I can move on Tavis' position immediately, General. Tavis' ship is currently sitting alone in an empty sector of space, most likely waiting to rendezvous with a larger vessel. You have to get there before that happens, Lieutenant. I'll head there immediately. This is Harren Tavis himself, Lieutenant. Succeed here, and everything else becomes an afterthought. What are my orders, General? Capture or neutralize? He could be useful to us alive. But take no chances. We cannot afford to let Tavis escape. Be sure to secure the prototype cloaking device after you've dealt with Tavis. If it fell into the Empire's hands, it could be disastrous. I'm transmitting the coordinates to you now. Affect entry to Tavis' ship, then do whatever is necessary to neutralize him and retrieve the prototype. Good hunting. Garza out. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. It is Lieutenant now, right? You're doing so well for yourself. I'm very proud. I have to thank you for working this little meeting into your very busy schedule. It took me some trouble to arrange. I guess it's no surprise that you're too cowardly to fight me yourself. And I suppose everyone who outsmarts you is a coward? Is that right? <laughs> you must meet an awful lot of cowards. But that isn't what I wanted to discuss with you today. You have caused me a great deal of difficulty, Lieutenant. Some have even called you my nemesis. Was that your goal? My goal is to bring traitors to justice. So is mine, Lieutenant. Needles. Even Captain Andrick. What is wrong with you? They were heroes, Lieutenant. Your squad mates betrayed the Republic. Just like you. You're a fool. In my entire career, only one other enemy has been as difficult as you. The Imperial Shadow Fist. One of the most elite commando units in all of the Sith Empire. Five of the Emperor's deadliest agents. Please, end this before anyone else has to die. I have only just begun, Lieutenant. Havoc Squad and the Shadow Fist fought many times. We battled to a standstill over and over again. We were the worst of enemies. But times have changed, Lieutenant. Meet my five newest friends. I always enjoy meeting new people. So do we. You're overdue for a painful death, Lieutenant. Goodbye.
Lieutenant, report. Were you able to neutralize Tavis? No Tavis. Just the Shadow Fist. Incredible. Ambushed by the Empire's best and still standing. You retrieved a military asset of incredible importance in the face of extreme danger. You did well. Our only choice now is to proceed as originally planned. Our technicians have determined your final two target locations. Tatooine and Alderaan. I'll give you a full briefing when you arrive at each mission zone. Move out immediately. Garza out. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I see you've landed in Anchorhead. Tatooine is a vast and dangerous desert of a planet, and I'm afraid you can't count on having Republic support during your mission there. I work better on my own anyway. I never said you'd be completely alone, Lieutenant. In the absence of military assets, I've arranged a local contact to assist you in your mission. Ole Claren, the mayor of Anchorhead. Mayor Claren may not be a soldier, but he knows the area extremely well, and can put his city's resources, whatever those may be, at your disposal. Sounds like a useful friend to have. Be sure to remember that this operation is top secret, Lieutenant. I told Mayor Claren only that you're undertaking an important mission, which is all that he needs to know. Understood? Discretion is my middle name, General. Very good. That's all I have for you at the moment. Proceed with the operation. Barza out.